A couple says they were attacked this weekend in the short north because they're gay. And police are still looking for the people responsible. NBC4's Olivia Facto is at the Watch 4 Alert Desk tonight to explain what happened and why activists in the LGBTQ community are so concerned. Yeah, Mark and Colleen, I spoke to those men today. They did not want to go on camera, but they did tell me they've been dating for two years and just moved to Columbus from California two weeks ago. What happened this weekend was shocking to them. 911, what is the address of your emergency? I, I was just jumped and robbed. A frantic 911 call from the short north this weekend. I'm bleeding out of my eyes, out of my lips, and my friend is bleeding all over his face. We, did, we were just walking home. Just after 2 a.m. Saturday, Bryson Byer and Montage Sandu were walking down this alley, coming from a bar in the short north and heading toward the Hubbard parking garage. When they got to this intersection, they say they were attacked. According to the police report, the two men reported eight males jumped out of two cars and beat them up. Byer told me the attackers yelled gay slurs at the couple. Both Byer and Santu were taken to Grant Medical Center for their injuries. It's disheartening, um, even devastating in a way, to know that there's still so much hatred out there. After the attack and other recent harassment, the Buckeye Region Anti-Violence Organization, or Bravo, put out an alert notifying those in the LGBT community to be aware of what was going on. When things like this happen in our own front yard, it leaves the entire community feeling a sense of, or a lack of sense of safety. Um, and, and heightened fear. Bravo says it's here to help and wants members of the LGBT community to remain visible and vocal. We have to unite together. Um, we have to understand that oppression and violence in all its forms is important um, to pay attention to, not just one group, not just one issue. That couple is recovering after being taken to Grant Medical Center over the weekend. They told police they took a photo of the license plate of their attackers. Police are continuing to investigate. Live at the Watch 4 Alert Desk, Olivia Fecto, NBC4. Thanks so much, Olivia.